the maintenance man can't repair this leak because the Chinese company that built this hospital in Kabul three years ago didn't hand over any plans. No one knows how the plumbing system works. The Jumhoriat Hospital was built with a grant from the Chinese government. The builders stuffed the wall cavities with polystyrene, just one of a list of defects that makes the facility too dangerous to open. Afghanistan's health minister is trying to find a solution. First of all, we are grateful to the government of China for its assistance in constructing this hospital and equipping this hospital. However, the assessment shows that the hospital needs some refurbishment and some equipment needs to be upgraded. Uh, so that will also require some resources, including financial resources and some efforts to upgrade the, the, the building itself, the construction itself, to um, re refurbish some of the equipment and, and uh, prepare it for a full use. Dr. DeLille is being diplomatic. This exterior AC exhaust unit is mounted indoors. It's just one of a catalogue of defects listed in an engineer's report seen by Al Jazeera. Exposed radiators are touching the floor, so the plastic flooring will melt. Nothing seems to work. Millions of dollars worth of equipment is gathering dust. Even this operating theatre is a death trap. Ceiling tiles are always falling down. The report that Al Jazeera has seen concludes that it will cost $44 million in repair work just to bring this hospital up to international standards. But that is almost a third of the entire annual national Afghan health development budget, which is $135 million. It's money the Afghan government just doesn't have. So the health ministry is pinning its hopes on public-private partnerships. Essentially, it will subsidize private health companies to run the hospitals. I think that uh, in, the, in the rush and the attempt to increase the delivery of services, uh, a lot of, of building of infrastructure may have taken place without thinking through exactly what the implications are. Um, for the longer term sustainability. I think we now have an opportunity to rationalize that by thinking about what we do with hospitals um, that are built, uh, that are available, and how they fit into the overall system of healthcare that the government wants to put together. But this is a race against time. No deals are in place to run any of the facilities. At the moment, there is a real risk that Afghanistan will be left with 19 unusable brand new hospitals. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Kabul.